This is the second solo in Sweet Home Alabama. I'll All right, there it is. That's a real brain buster. Um, a lot of notes to that one. So let's get started here. Uh, basically, we're going to start with a hammer-on lick. <laughs> down here in the open position um, and we're going to start by hammering from open fourth to second fret with our second finger then we're going to go to open third back to fourth then open third to second fret third string then we're going to bend that kick it three times and then bend it up and down with open third to second fret fourth string and then two opens and throw a little whammy bar in there um, please excuse me if I go through this kind of fast because the whole video would end up being like an hour long just for this section if I was to stop and go over everything twice so you might want us to get a pen and paper out and kind of write things down as we go or just kind of rewind the video um, for the parts that you need to look at again. Again, that part slowly is going to go like this. From there we're going to slide up to here which is based on a ninth fret. We're going to use our first and second fingers in a position like this. Um, kind of slide into the ninth fret. Then we have first finger eighth fret, second string, back to ninth fret here, and then back to eighth. We see a lot of that in the solos in this song. Where um, we just kind of go back and forth between swaying strings. And then we have eleventh fret, third finger bent, and then we do another one of those and then we go to a little eight nine eight nine thing again here and then pick seventh twice sliding second finger from ninth to seventh so we have Time, starting with a real soft pick and growing louder. In the recording, you can hear the uh, picks, they're kind of soft. In the beginning, they're almost not there, but then the uh, emphasizes the next three notes. And then from there, we have ba -ba -bum, which is nine fourth string, nine third string, and seventh third string. Like that. Okay, now for my favorite part of the song. Um, actually, I should say my least favorite part. This is the hardest lick to lock in with the recording. Uh, you're going to slide up here to 14th fret with your second finger and 12th fret with your first finger. And we have a hammer-on pull-off lick that looks like this. And that's going to be our pattern. And what we're going to do is stretch it around. frets the 14th 17th and 16th and what I'm doing here slowly is fourth string 14th fret third string 12th and then uh, third string 14th fret and then pulling back to 12 so we have pick 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 pull and the way I'm picking this is down down up pull so we have a bit of a sweet pick for the first two notes. And we're going to do that once there. Then we're going to do two on the 17th fret. We're going to stretch our pinky way up here. Then we're going to do four on the 16th fret. Back to two more on the 17th. 
uh, two on the 14th, three more on the 17th, and then we're going to end it up with 14, 12, 14. From there, we've got a little lick that is going to look like this. Give me a minute here. I actually have a little cheat sheet going on my computer because um, I want to be sure to fit in every note. Sometimes I can play these looks by ear really quickly and nail them with the recording. And then when it comes down to actually thinking about what notes I'm doing consecutively, I kind of like get lost without the... Uh, you know, without my ear and fingers to kind of just take control. So um, I'm going to pull up my cheat sheet here. Uh, after that, what we're going to do is go 13 to 14, fifth string hammer on, and then to 12th fret, third string. So we have a lick that looks like that. And this is the lick that goes like this. So that's what the lick sounds like in the recording. And it's followed by these fast notes here. So what I did again here was from there we go 14, slide to 12th with your third finger and back to 14th. Then the 12th third string, back to 14th fourth string, then 12 to 14 on third string. Then 12 on 2nd string, back to 14 3rd string, 12 15 2nd string, back to 12th, and then back to 15th fret, 3rd string. From there we have this series of notes. Which is this fifteenth fret uh, picked in this pattern in threes. Pull to uh, thirteenth, twelfth. From there we have fifteen, twelve, fifteen. And then we're gonna do a series of bends. That's what our series is going to look like. Um, and what I did there slowly was 15 to 12. Again. This time with two picks. One more time with no picks. I mean one pick. And then 15 to 12 on second strings. And then one more of these. So we're looking at that's when you might want to get out your pen and paper for or listen really closely to the recording. And then from there um, that lick is going to look like this. We're going to go 12, first string, 15, 12, second, 15, uh, third string, a little blue note there. Sounds kind of funny when it's played slowly, but quickly it sounds pretty cool. Back to 12, then 15, 14, 12, then 14, 12, fourth string, and then we're going to slide quick from 14 to 12 here, and then to 10th fret. 5th string, and then 12. And then we have our 3rd finger barring uh, 12th fret on 5th string and 6th string. And then we ended up on the 10th fret here. So we have... Something like that for that lick. Um, I'm going to pull up my cheat sheet for that lick now, or the next lick I should say rather. Uh, I'll do that one for you one more time.
there's that one. Now the next one we're going to look at is like this. Quite a few notes there. So what we have here is a hammer to the 12th fret with another pick after that. Then we have 10 um, fifth string. So our next series of notes are going to look like this, which is 10th played twice, 12 sixth string, and then 10th twice. So we have 10, 12. And then the next lick. Kind of an Elmer Brothers lick. Classic Southern rock lick. Uh, 12 barred with your third finger. 5th, 6th, 10th, 12th, pull back to 10th. Then we're going to slide from 12th to 14th using our third finger. Bring 1st finger to 4th fret. And then we're going to do the same kind of lick here. On the 14th fret of the 4th uh, and 5th strings. So we're going to go 14, 14, and then two 12s. 4th string. Walk our way up the scale to 14th on 4th string, then 12th on 3rd string. Back to 14th. Then we have 12, 14, 14, same lick. Now on the 3rd and 4th strings. Then from there we walk up the scale to 12th third string, 14th bent, like so, and then 12th um, second string, and then two pull offs from 15 to 12. Something like that. go there's that one uh, almost done here next we're going to use our second finger on the 14th fret of the third string slide it up to 16th like so and then we're going to walk up our scale here in the 15th position which is 15 17 second string then 15 17 first string and then we're going to bend 17th fret, 1st string, 3 times. So we have uh, from there we have 15, or 17 rather, 15, then 17 again. And then we're going to skip over here to the 17th fret on the 2nd string. So we're kind of barring that uh, note. Then slide to 15th. And from there we have our blue note again here, 12, uh, second string to 15, third string, back to 12, second string. So we have a run just like we saw earlier, 15, 14, 12, then 14, 12, fourth string. And then we're going to kind of flip our first finger over here to the 12th fret note on the 3rd finger to end the solo. So that last lick. Alright, so there's the whole solo uh, piece by piece. Hopefully that'll help you out and get it, um, hope, hopefully that'll help you out so you can get it under your fingers well by looking at it slowly. Remember I, what I said earlier, this is a real earful. A um, lot of notes here and they go by really fast so you may want to just uh, write down the lesson as you go along or refer to the tabs. Um, let's move along now to the next part of the song. <laughs> 